Hello guys, um, today let's discuss about the Kawasaki disease. The Kawasaki disease is a vasculitis of medium sized vessels uh, where there is inflammation of the vessels and it typically affects the coronary arteries. So it can be due to infectious causes or autoimmune reactions and genetic predispositions. So it mainly affects the endothelium of the uh, blood vessels, you know that we have three mainly three layers of the blood vessels so here i'm drawing the layers of blood vessels this i'll label it as tunica externa here the muscle layer this is tunica media and the most innermost part here we have the tunica interna and tunica interna consists of endothelium so in kawasaki disease the immune system of our body it will affect this endothelium layer it, it will disrupt this endothelium layer and there will be exposure of this uh, you know sub endothelial tissue such as collagen or even this muscle layer and this will result into formation of the blood clots and various inflammation process you know and mostly it as it affects the coronary arteries there will be a uh, it, it can lead into coronary artery aneurysm and the complications can go to thrombosis and also the rupture and that can lead to death as well so uh, now let's go to the uh, symptoms of the Kawasaki disease <coughs> here you can see I've drawn a picture of a bike and I've labeled it as Kawasaki you know there is a company which invents such bikes and here is a baby who is uh, four years old and he is riding a bike okay he is four years old so now uh, we cannot assume what will happen if a four year old child will, uh, will ride a bike okay so he will now crash and burn right so we can remember the symptoms of Kawasaki disease as crash and burn because the four-year-old child you know, cannot ride a bike so here the C refers to conjunctival inflammation all right so C refers to conjunctival inflammation where there is uh, red eyes but with a limbus uh, sorry sparing of the limbus so what really happens is that if this is the eye here I'm drawing the eye this is the iris right so in Kawasaki disease there is redness all over the conjunctiva but there will be sparing of this reason and this reason right here this reason is the limbus of the eye so this but this will appear as white so there is limbus sparing so first symptom is conjunctival inflammation with limbus sparing and in second R means rash there will be polymorphous rash and which will later you know discomets and A means adenopathy, lymphadenopathy. There will be swelling of the lymph nodes, typically cervical lymph nodes. S means strawberry tongue. Strawberry tongue means the tongue will appear red just like strawberry. This is due to uh, you know, slogging off of the top layer of the tongue giving the tongue as you know strawberry like appearance and finally H means hand and fit edema and erythema as well so there will be edema and erythema of hands and feet now and burn obviously refers to fever 
the fever will not subside even if we take the antipyretics okay so these are the symptoms of the kawasaki disease now let's go towards the um, treatment in the treatment we provide with uh, IVIZ means intravenous immunoglobulin so this is the main treatment uh, this is uh, actually uh, an antibody which is taken from other individuals and uh, it is believed to uh, you know uh, lower down the activities of the immune system and uh, reduce the process of uh, inflammation so this will reduce inflammation others we can give um, aspirin as well aspirin will you know inhibit platelet cyclooxygenase you know it will decrease the function of platelets cyclooxygenase enzyme which will prevent platelets from aggregating together but uh, we have to be careful while giving aspirin because it can cause a uh, rice syndrome which is you know hepatic encephalopathy in children so the aspirin uh, while giving aspirin uh, there will be other uh, mon monitoring should be done thank you